It's been said that those who cannot remember the past are doomed to repeat it. While many historians discredit the notion that history repeats itself due to the specifics in each situation, it's worth paying attention to certain historical patterns. Why is it important? Well, for one, so that fewer people die. Today, we look at a few situations that would have gone a lot differently if someone had paid attention in history class. I'm Lord Michael Estrin, and whoa, this- Whoa, whoa, cut for a second. What, what's wrong? Weren't we filming? Oh yeah, the, the shot was fine. It's just, you said you're Lord Michael Estrin, so we just need to go back to the end of the intro and start picking that back up and- I'm sorry, I can't do that. And why not? I'm a Lord now. I'm sorry, what are you talking about? I am a landowner in Scotland. That makes me a lord. I'm Lord Michael now, and I will expect you to address me as such. Prove it. Okay. <clears throat> Here. Lord Michael B. Astron, you're... Okay, so this says you own a plot of land in Scotland? Yep. Have you ever been to Scotland? Nope. Explain. You do not give me orders, peasant. I'm a lord of Scotland. And Michael? you sh Okay, fine. According to ancient Scottish custom, anyone who owns land in the country is known as a laird or lord or lady. I bought land in Scotland through established titles, so I am officially a lord. Is it legit? Absolutely. See, established titles is actually a fun project started to protect the natural woodlands of Scotland. They're also helping global reforestation efforts because every time they sell a plot of land, thereby making said landowner a laird, they also plant a tree somewhere in the world. So, what, they just go plant a bunch of trees? Well, yeah. They're partnering with the global charities One Tree Planted and Trees for the Future, whose focus is global reforestation. Okay, that all sounds amazing. Doesn't it? But it doesn't mean you're a real lord. Ah, but it does. You can even list yourself as Lord or Lady on your credit cards, plane tickets, dating profiles, wherever. So you really are a Lord now. I am, now bow before me. My Lord. Oh my God, it really works. How cool is this? Wait, what if I just buy my own plot of land? I could buy like two or three spots and become king. I could become king of list 25. Funny you should mention that because the first 200 people who purchase the title pack using my link will effectively be next to my plot. So, we be neighbors. Well, you know, within walking distance, but- yeah. Huzzah! You wanna hear the best part? You know I do. This makes an awesome gift, and right now they're running a massive Black Friday sale. No! Yes, plus you get an extra 10% off when you use the code LIST25. No! Yes! So you're telling me I can become a Lord of Scotland, help reforest the world, save lots of money, and be king of List 25. Well, I mean, actually, I'd be king of List 25, but yes, if you go to establishedtitles.com slash List 25, you'll not only be supporting the channel, but you'll also get access to everything else that you are clearly amazed by. Everybody get that? Good. Thanks for telling me this, Mike. I, I mean, my lord? Hey, I could make Sith jokes. Oh, okay. Well, back to the intro, I guess. I'm Mike with List 25, and here are 25 ways history has repeated itself. Twenty-five. Influenza and COVID. Before I begin, I just want to mention a couple things. First, I want to shout out our fan, Serena Penner. Thank you so much for supporting the channel and to let the rest of you guys know that don't forget to become a member too if you also want to shout out and to help support the channel. And also, you guys asked for this one in our community tab. We actually had a little poll to see which uh, list you guys wanted, listed some topics. This is the one you guys picked, so there you go. Anyway, back to the list. Let's get this one out of the way first. History has no shortages of pandemics. The Black Death, cholera, HIV slash AIDS, influenza. In 1918, there was a wave of influenza that swept the world, killing an estimated 
50 million people worldwide. Despite the high rate of infection, the public quickly became polarized. Should we ban people from gathering for a short while? How should we save the economy from lockdowns and so many people being affected? Should we make people wear a mask in public? Does that sound like anything you've heard of recently? <coughs> COVID, <coughs> excuse me, sorry. While science has advanced since 1918, fierce debate over how to manage these outbreaks hasn't changed. 24, Tex Singh, the Titanic, and Donna Paz. Here's a recipe for disaster. Take a large boat, fail to properly prepare, rush to the destination, and crash into something. In 1822, the Tex Singh crashed into a barrier reef on the way to Jakarta from China. It had so much cargo that some of it needed to be strapped to the outside of the ship's hull. Also on board, 1,600 immigrants on their way to a new life. In 1912, the Titanic crashed into an iceberg. You know what? You know that story. Over 1,500 people lost their lives. While the ship wasn't overloaded with cargo, it didn't have enough lifeboats. You know, minor detail. Finally, in 1987, the Donna Paz sank in the Tablas Strait. It collided with an oil tanker, causing a massive explosion that took down both ships. The Donna Paz was carrying roughly 4,000 passengers, and it was only built for 1,400. 23. Death Conspiracies Could Elvis or Tupac still be alive? It's possible. Maybe. Okay, probably not. However, it's not unusual for conspiracies to quickly follow the death of a celebrity. It's not long before there are sightings and claims that said person is still alive. Long before television or the internet, in 1825, Alexander I of Russia died of typhus. The prevalent rumor became that he'd faked his death and become a monk named Fyodor Kuzmich. As recently as 2015, handwriting experts determined this theory could be possible after comparing writing samples. 22. The Civil Rights Movement and Black Lives Matter See if this scenario rings any bells. Black Americans and allies fight to end racial discrimination and inequality. Protests are used as a platform to call attention to the need for reform. Nonviolence is emphasized and encouraged, but doesn't always stay that way. Is this the civil rights movement from the 50s or 60s, or the current day Black Lives Matter movement? There are obvious nuances between the two, but the parallels are hard to ignore. 21. The fight for reproductive and privacy rights. The battle for women to have rights to their own bodily autonomy has been going on for decades. The 1973 Supreme Court ruling in Roe v. Wade protected women's rights to privacy, which in turn protected women's rights to have an abortion. Recently, Roe v. Wade was overturned in Dobbs v. Jackson Women's Health Organization in June 2022. While specifics over abortion and privacy laws have varied from state to state, Women once again have to fight to have control over their own bodies. 20. Stalin and Ivan the Terrible In the time of Ivan the Terrible, the Tsar started a group designed to oppress anyone against him. The Oprichniki, as they were called, drove out oppressors, aka terrorized the public without rhyme or reason. They did this by riding around in black clothing with a severed dog or wolf's head attached to their saddles, rounding up people and executing them in horrific ways. Fast forward to the time of Stalin's rule, and Stalin was an incredibly paranoid man, always on the lookout for people who were not supportive or loyal enough. No one was safe from his paranoia, even top military generals and advisors. At one point, any time after one of Stalin's speeches, people were afraid to be the first ones to stop clapping as it was considered a sign of disloyalty. There were quite a few people that lost their lives by simply being the first to stop. Sorry. I can't imagine that, oh my god. 19. Blockbuster and Netflix slash Nokia and Apple. In 2000, Blockbuster had the opportunity to purchase Netflix for $50 million. They turned it down quickly, seeming to think it all a big joke. At the time, they believed dot-com business models were unsustainable and unprofitable. Then a few short years later, in 2006, Nokia had the opportunity to join companies like Apple and Android to change the way mobile phones functioned. At the time, these innovations were seen to be too radical and ambitious. Nokia decided to stick with what they were doing and quickly fell out of the mobile industry spotlight. 18. Mass Extinctions 
Before I get into this one, it's important that I define what is meant specifically by mass extinction. It happens when 75% of all species on Earth die off in a short period of time. And by short period of time, I mean in less than 2.8 million years. According to scholars, there have been five mass extinctions in the past 500 million years. The thought is that we are early on in a sixth. Why? Species are going extinct at a much quicker rate. So when could the next mass extinction happen? Well, in three to 22 centuries. Doesn't mean we shouldn't stop trying to do stuff now. Stop affecting future generations just because it won't personally affect you. Do your part. To prevent, not continue, to, to prevent. You know what I mean. 17. Extreme Polarization of Politics In the 50s, the governing body in the US had no room for opposition. If you didn't agree with the current rhetoric and policies, you were obviously a vile communist. There's even a term for this phenomenon, McCarthyism, named after Senator Joseph R. McCarthy, who ran a campaign against various federal and military divisions to hunt out anyone even loosely connected with the Communist Party. You know, I think his gardener knew someone with a brother in the Communist Party. Uh, McCarthyism is now a term associated with defamation of character by widely publicized allegations, usually based on loose or non-existent proof. Sound familiar? Today's political arena is divided by sharp extremes, and you only need to listen to the media for a few minutes to hear all of the allegations. Yes, the details are quite different, but just as during the height of McCarthyism, the current pulse in the US is much more, if you disagree with me, you're evil, and a lot less, I don't agree with your opinions. 16. Labor Changes While telecommuting has been around for a while, the COVID-19 pandemic has certainly accelerated the use of virtual workspaces. Companies are now realizing the benefits for all involved when they move things out of the office. There are also companies that operate more on a basis of productivity and less on a basis of you must clock in X number of hours. Speaking of clocking in, at the time, the start of a 40-hour work week was actually a very good and necessary thing. Factory workers were in larger demand, and these businesses tended to, well, overwork and abuse their employees. So while it makes less sense now, it was a large and positive innovation at the time. Society changes based on certain needs, and when these needs change, so does how things are done. 15. Long Depression and Great Depression The stock market crash of 1929 ushered in the Great Depression, which lasted 10 years until 1939. However, did you know that there was a long depression 56 years earlier? Originally, it too was called the Great Depression, you know, until the crash of 1929 took claim over that title. Both depressions were the result of poor financial decisions, this one dealing mainly with some overinvesting in railroads. Some 18,000 banks went bankrupt. 14. Occupation while all major empires and a few strong countries have a history of occupying another territory, for the United States, it hasn't always worked out as intended. While it starts with the idea that use of military force is justified and will fix whatever place is in question, it typically ends with that place being replaced by brutal regimes. Examples would include the occupation of Haiti from 1915 to 1934, the Dominican Republic from 1916 to 1924, and Nicaragua from 1912 to 1933. 13. Mass Shootings While heavy debate over gun policy rages on both publicly and politically, mass shootings continue to happen all too often. Someone mentally unstable finds easy access to a gun, kills innocent people, angry debates break out, and then it starts all over again. 12. Nativism Throughout history, nativism, the policy of protecting the interests of native-born or established inhabitants against those of immigrants, has caused extreme harm to certain groups of people. Jews, Japanese, Chinese, Mexicans. You don't have to pay too close attention to hear that nativism is alive and well. 11. Public acceptance of hate crimes. In addition to nativism and the prejudices it causes, public acceptance or apathy towards hate crimes increases significantly every so often. Sadly, this is something we're cycling through now. 
While you might not realize it, there are some disturbing statistics in current time. In 2017, there was a 17% increase in hate crimes and a 99% increase in anti-Semitic incidents in 2018 from 2015. And that was all before the pandemic. 10, genocide. When you have public acceptance of or apathy towards hate and you combine it with certain political climates, things can get extreme. And no, I'm not talking 90s extreme. You might automatically think of the Holocaust where some 11 million people died in concentration camps from execution, exhaustion, or starvation. Or maybe it's the Rwandan genocide in 1994 where death estimates range from 500,000 to 1 million people. These are certainly not the only genocides in history, sadly. The theme? Someone, or a group of someones, gain power and leverage hate campaigns to make it okay to kill people belonging to whatever group they decide they don't like. 9. Fashion Okay, so this one's a bit fun, and it's still history, albeit more cultural history. Fashion trends tend to be cyclical too. Bodysuits, bell-bottoms, baggy, skin-tight, even prints, accessories, and shoes have repeating trends every few decades. Anyone waiting for Jinko jeans or MC Hammer pants to come back around? Well, maybe not everything needs to cycle through again. 8. Discrimination in the military Every few years, certain members of society are restricted from serving in the military. Ethnicity, skin color, gender, sexuality, these have all been reasons people have either been barred from or harassed in the military forces throughout history. 7. Napoleon and Hitler invading Russia in 1812 to 1813, Napoleon tried to invade Russia. In 1941, Hitler also tried to invade Russia. While it wasn't the sole factor in either case, a major contributor to their campaign's failing was because of the weather. The lesson? Don't underestimate Russian winters. 6. War after disaster In periods of peace and prosperity, different political, religious, or philosophical camps are a bit more civil with each other. There are more needs being met. However, times of strife or disaster can act as kindling for the fire. One such example is the War of the Roses, which started in 1455. While two main factions fought over the throne of England, things turned to war after socioeconomic problems stemming from the Hundred Years' War coincided with the mental instability of Henry VI and societal structure issues. 5. Revolutions In many, or all, societies, there are two groups, the powerful, and the powerless. When the dynamic goes out of balance to one side or the other, revolutions are often unavoidable, perhaps even necessary. While the details of each are certainly different, this power struggle has led to significant revolutions. The French Revolution, the American Revolution, the Russian Revolution. 4. Art and Culture I talk of revolutions on a political level, but art and culture have revolutions and movements of their own. Think about abstract expressionism, avant-garde, baroque, the list goes on. While each movement has distinct differences, the pattern of stimulating rise, plateau, and decadence followed by another trend taking its place continues over and over. What's interesting to note is how these artistic trends tend to reflect or mirror what's going on in society at the time. Art influences culture and culture influences art. Curse you, Arthur, for being so influenced by culture and influencing culture yourself. Damn, Arthur. Arthur Morgan. <clears throat> Three, access to information. Nowadays, we have access to seemingly endless information. There are several obvious benefits to society because of this, but there's also no shortage of disadvantages. We see this most significantly today in the ways that the internet and other media sources influence current politics. Another instance of sudden access to knowledge came with the invention of the printing press. There was the Enlightenment, the creation of the scientific method, and the age of exploration. The bloodshed from the Reformation may not be so great, though. 2. Disruptive Technological Advancements Speaking of pros and cons from innovation, have you heard the phrase disruptive technological advancements? Sometimes technology outpaces its predecessors to create something groundbreaking enough to shake up existing industries or create entirely new ones. The printing press is certainly one example of this. Other examples include e-commerce, online news sharing sites, GPS, and rideshare. Prior to these things, there was also television, electricity, and the automobile. Who knows what's coming? 
Maybe computer to brain technology, 3D messages. Maybe, who knows? One, innovations halting disasters. Let's end this list on a positive note, shall we? While history can be a bit depressing, there are certainly times when innovation can change the course of history for the better. Think about electric cars and how that has made a positive contribution to air quality. Before that, in mid-11th century Europe, innovative land clearing and agricultural developments allowed a boom in production, leading to a mostly stable and prosperous 12th century. Perhaps the next innovation will bring about growth and prosperity too. So, what are some other examples of history repeating itself that you know of? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, click that notification bell, join our Discord, become a member, help support the channel, and all that other fun stuff. We really love and appreciate you guys, and I'll see you next time. Be sure to click that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Share them with your friends and help us consistently conciliate curiosity. And if you want even more lists, check out these videos here or just head to our website at list25.com.